Okay guys, um, just a quick update, or an update anyway. I've got the Sun SDR 2DX, so that's the radio itself. I've now got it actually can all connected up. The only thing I've not actually got uh, this morning, because it's Monday, I was uh, thinking that I'd have my uh, external cable from the back of uh, this radio to my expert one amp but lo and behold it's not come today hopefully tomorrow I can, then I can connect it to my um, expert amp and use all the antennas that's on there because at the moment um, I've just got two antennas connected uh, a 6B TV and an Amtron 99 uh, connected to this radio so that's what I'm using. Um, do a good job, and that's about it. Right, I did have a problem, and the problem was getting this piece of software. Let's turn this light off. A bit too much. Getting this piece of software, um, the Expert S2D uh, software itself, connected to my log 4 om program um, a lot of faffing about so this is a software that i've done to get the uh, virtual ports working as you can see i've got uh, three lots of ports 5 7 8 9 10 and 11 and then on the virtual audio cables as you can see there i've got uh, four ports there uh, just for the audio uh, you can make as many up as you need um, but the problem I had we just go back to this piece of software and bring it across is with the cat because you can either set it to uh, Omnirig there you go you can either set it to Omnirig or the C cat, uh, sorry, E cat version one, and I was trying so hard to get Omni rig working. I got it working, it stopped. I got it working, it stopped. It's taken me a couple of days to get it sorted. I've now got it sorted just with um, the cat version, i.e., E cat version one now. So now that's running, so I've got that working. <clears throat> with um, the COM ports 5 and 7 uh, 5 in from the software there on the, the SDR software and going into log 4 OM um, let's get rid of this software now because I've showed you this so now Hmm. So now it's just gone offline. Brill. Um, when you go into, let me just see if it'll actually connect. Yep, it's connected back. Brilliant. So now, as you can see on the top, <coughs> the frequency is there: seven one seven one one six. And at the top there, 7116, that's what I'm actually using. Um, so what I actually did was use this, Hamlib. So with the Hamlib, you make it as a Kenwood, the rig control is the Kenwood TS480. Uh, COM7, board rate 57600, no RTS, no DTR, and after getting all that sorted out, up and working, brilliant. Got it fully working now on um, N1MM software as well, and other softwares, or login software, so that's fine. Um, 
as and when needed for any uh, data modes I can get that sorted later on as well <coughs> excuse me um, but the software itself let me just get rid of this the software itself on my ex, uh, my Sun SDR2 is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's as good as the Flex software, or better. Uh, there's going to be a, a new update coming out soon, uh, November, October time, something like that. And that software is supposed to be even better. Loads more put in there. Um, <coughs> This has got two receives on, two receivers. I've only put one on. I can put two on, no problem. And um, it's absolutely brilliant. So that's what I'm using at the moment. Once I get my expert amp sorted out, um, I will take it off, or take my 7600 off, and do some playing around with the. Um, Expert 1K. I still keep my FT2000 uh, connected because uh, I just use that for doing audio and uh, rag tuning and that. And then that will be used for DX and everything. So I've only had it oh, since Saturday, the radio. So I'm just playing around with it at the moment, getting used to um, all the software because uh, the manuals absolutely humongous so you have to take into account everything that you've got to do connecting up different pieces of software um, it's a brilliant radio uh, there's lots of future things to come as I say at the minute I'm just waiting for a, a cable from the back of the uh, radio the uh, Sun S SDR2 to go into the back of uh, the amp and I'm also waiting for a, um, a shuttle it's a bit like a mouse uh, but I'm going to connect that up to um, the Sun SDR so I can use that to actually um, use it a little bit like on here this was for my uh, flex radio my flex uh, 3000 there's the VFO so the shuttle that I'm just going to get will do the same thing um, that's just redundant at the moment either going to get uh, rid of it, i.e. sell it or I'll take it somewhere else for me to use at a different QTH and uh, be able to play so yeah lots of things happening at the moment um, this is going to take me quite a while to actually learn how to uh, or run the software because uh, I'm just doing profiles for the audio at the moment and uh, each profile you have to do all different things for the bands and everything if you've got a flex uh, 6000 well almost any flex really uh, you'll know what I mean by doing all the profiles so that's what I'm playing with at the moment because uh, I've done a few profiles. I've got uh, Heil PR781 and the Rode Procaster there, and another uh, studio mic up there. And um, I've got the Procaster sorted out, fantastic audio. Um, the PR781 is a little bit uh, different, i.e., it's a bit more tony, which is uh, better for DX than that. Reg two, then the Procaster, hands down. Um, so I'm just sorting those two mics out so I can get better audio from them. Um, this is a little bit of the stuff that I'm using. It's one there. That one's connected to the Procaster. Uh, W2IHY. Uh, uh, there's another A band EQ. That one's a dual band EQ with noise gate. That's the eight with noise gate. So I have to turn, I've done it so I can use this 
without the noise gate and the A band EQ straight through the software because it's got all the EQs and everything you'd, you'd ever need on there so to incorporate all my audio stuff um, into that software um, I've done three four different profiles because you can also use your, your headset on your computer um, with the radio as well so that's what I say there's just so much you can do with it uh, that I'm just uh, get, actually getting into it really it'll take me months to get it sorted could be even longer than that uh, because I've got to do all the digital modes interfacing if I want to but um, Sam Radio that's what it's all about and I love messing about with uh, software getting it all to work in the end it's a good job I did get it to work in the end anyway okay guys that's about it take it easy and uh, once I've got everything connected up I'll do another update of uh, what I'm actually playing with at the moment lovely radio 73's guys take it easy